All right, Sid. Miss Johnson's plant experiment, is that right? Yeah, that's what I already said. Okay. Miss Johnson, a second grade teacher, reached deep into her canvas bag and pulled out two plants. She placed the plants on a table, pulled out two plants. She placed them on a table. At the front of the room, she hmm. asked her class to gather around the what? Yeah, gather around the table to look at the plants and describe what they saw. I feel like that's something Miss Speak would have done. Mm -hmm. They look the same. The leaves are green. There, what are you doing? I'm just holding the microphone. The leaves are green? They're standing straight up. Miss Johnson asked them to. I think you have to shrink your text a little bit. I think you're missing some of the text. To touch the dirt and tell her about it. She wanted them to touch the dirt? Yeah. Well, I didn't see the word dirt on the page. Well, it is dirt. But I didn't see the word dirt. Where did you see the word dirt? It's soil, but I like to call it dirt. Well, you need to say what's in the book. I can't just change the words. Okay, she told them to touch the soil and tell her about it. The soil is moist and the dark brown. My this. Absurd. Oh, Mia. Okay. Uh, uh, what? How do you say that? Mia. No, this. Observed? Yeah. What does it mean to observe? <laughs> Are you observing? Yeah. Well, what does that mean? To look. Okay. To look. Mm. Okay. Let's get back to business. So they're observing the soil. Mm. The soil is getting stuck under my fingernails. Pretty so sad. Miss Johnson put one plant in a sunny spot on the window set. Window sill. Huh? Why is that in your mouth? <laughs> That's like your beans are sitting on the windowsill right now, right? Uh -huh. um, okay, where's the word windowsill? I don't see it. Uh, here. Okay. Okay. And the uh, other floor in dark corner. Hold on, can you look at that again? I feel like you skipped some words. No, I didn't. On the windowsill and the other on the floor in the dark corner. See, I got it right. Okay, that's good. Okay. I don't want to miss any words. A dark corner. Of the classroom. He asked for four volunteers. Each 
volunteer was responsible for watering the plant on the window sill once a week. Miss Johnson promised um, What did she promise? Her class to plant. Miss Johnson the promised plant, the plant, the plant. <laughs> would be part of of an important Lesson for following months. For the following month. Mm, wait, so what month is it like in the book? Well, did it tell us? No. I'm not sure the text gave us a month. I'm guessing it's... Mm, actually, no. I'm guessing it's like... May. Really? Well, we'll have to look for some other clues in the text for the time setting. We just know it's during a school year. And one thing I do see... Ah, what? Look. Yeah. The three dots. Oh, what are those three dots about? They're, um, time. Oh, it's a time shift? No. Okay. Cool. See. Let's see what shifts. It's either the time or the place. Okay. I already read this. <laughs> Four weeks later. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> so it, it's a time shift of four weeks. Okay, cool. I thought it was four months. No, four weeks. No, it is four months. Well, I see the word W-E-E-K-S. That spells weeks. Four weeks later. Miss Johnson brought the plants. back to the table and invited the class to describe them again. Oh, so it's the same process as before. Okay. They don't look the same like each other anymore. Hella. Helena. 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 Helena or Helena. Said Ash. Helena. Said Ash. Oh, excitedly. She's excited to see the difference in the plants. Okay. One plant is green and the and it has new bright green leaves. And the other plant has more yellow and brown. <laughs> Nina. 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 It's Nina. Okay, I feel like we're missing some words here. So, one plant is green and has mm -hmm. some new bright green leaves. The other plant has more yellow and brown leaves than green. Nina explained. Oh, we're up here. Oh. One plant. One plant is standing straight up. One, the, wait. And? The other one is bent. Yep, bent over. Wait. Right. Someone's talking. Who's talking here? Um. One way to know is by looking at the text. Who's talking? Right there. Mm, Lenny. 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 
So Lenny's noticing that one plant is straight up and the other one is bent over. Miss Johnson then asked the students to touch the soil and tell her about it. it mm, it's moist and dark brown around the plant. Grace. Grace! Grace! <laughs> Grace is in this story? Grace said, It's very dry and light brown around this plant. Max described. Miss Johnson explained, Plants are alive. They respond to where they Live. What are the differences between where I put the plants and how, how we cared for them? That's an interesting question. And can you read a little? What's the difference between where I put the plants? and how we cared for them. Hmm. Let's see what the students answer. You put one in a dark corner and the other one on the windowsill where there's a lot of some of light, not sunlight. Right. Ellie. Ellie. That's a nice name. Ellie replied. We watered the plant on the windowsill, but we didn't water the plant in the corner. Can you fix it? Yeah. We watered the plant on the windowsill, but we didn't water the plant in the corner of the room. Who was talking? Mm. It, it, Ellie. Not Ellie. Oh, Air. What? Aaron. Aaron. Yeah, Aaron. It's kind of like the boy version of my name. The Aaron. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Which plant is growing? And healthy. Miss Johnson asked. Several students replied that the plant on the window so they watered it the it was one Several students replied um, that the plant on the windowsill they watered was growing healthy. Was the one which was growing and healthy. Mm-hmm. You're right. We already read that. Nope, we didn't. Um, You're right, Miss Johnson exclaimed, proud of her students. Mm -hmm. The they still then she then she conti continued continued I want to see for yourself that plants depend on light and water mm -hmm. to grow to be healthy, did you know that plants breathe? Hmm. Can you read this one? They have little openings on their leaves that look like tiny mouths, but they are too small to see without a microscope. Your turn. When? Play, uh, wait. When? Wait, where am I? So do you see the word microscope? Yeah. Then you see a period? 
And now you see the new sentence, when. Oh, yeah. When we breathe, we breathe in oxygen. Plants breathe in carbon dioxide. Yeah, it's a science word. Carbon dioxide. Plants take in carbon dioxide from the air and use and use it to build their leaves stem and roots plants also take in water this is why they need water plants so they Oh, grow. They use their roots to suck up the water into their bodies. And the little opening on their leaves to breathe the carbon dioxide. Oh, wow. It's a very scientific description. She must be a science teacher. I want you to read this. I already read a lot. Once they have water and carbon dioxide, plants need light. Your sentence. I'm going to sit up. Okay. Right. You reposition? Yeah. So. Where? So you're picking up with the word leaves. Of a bunch of tiny cells. Inside the cells are very little things called. called That's a tough word. <laughs> Chloroplasts. Are what makes leaves green. And they are also what turn the carbon dioxide, water, and light into sugar. Wow, who knows that was a thing? <laughs> sugar and? And oxygen. Good. The sugar is food for the plant, and plants really realize release uh, release the oxygen into the air, hmm. which humans and animals breathe in. Wow, that's quite a process. I breathe in. That is quite a process. Okay, looks like Miss Johnson's asking a question. What? Are we done? What's her question? What? What do plants need to grow and to be healthy? Hmm. Miss hmm. Johnson asked her class. I bet they know the answer. They need light and water. Mm -hmm. The class replied, that's rude, only one person can respond. <laughs> well, it sounds like she wanted everybody to speak. Let's place both the plants near the windowsill where they will get lots of light and grow. Who would like to... Volunteer to water the plants. <laughs> All of Miss Johnson's students raised their hand. Nice. Would you want to water the plants? Sort of. Just sort of? Because the soil looks like poop and it feels really gross. 
Well, isn't it an important job to take care of those plants? Yeah, but also it can get messy. Is that one of the jobs in Miss Vulture's classroom? Plant mm, waterer? No, I wish there was a class pet though. Yeah. I do that. I thought you had a classroom where that was the one of the jobs. Was that misspeak? Mm, maybe. Anyways. Maybe it was first um, grade with Mrs. Welch. Yeah. Can you get me um Robux? Say bye to Miss Welch. Bye, Miss Welch. Yeah. <laughs>